Oh god, this guy has a fucking smiley face in his name. It's gonna be trash. It's gonna be a trash lobby, I can just tell. Oh, that guy's name is TTV fucking hot routes, so I guess just pre-aim a flank. See how hot his routes actually are. Nah, his teammates are gonna beat us there, and then we'll be the ones getting pre-aimed. This is Mercado Lost Hard. Or joke point. Dude, can I fucking play the game? God! Hmm. Shoot one guy, the whole team freaks out. He throws their entire arsenal at you. Yep, that's how the game is played. That's how the game has been played for about four months now. CDL gold M4 goals being bad. Tough, tough. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought that guy fucking died. Loss for you, I don't fucking care, bro. Well, uh, get proof that you got 40. Tell the guy with his own mind. That was pretty cool. With his own mind? That's crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Inspirational. Yep. Hello, my friends. This is the 556 Icarus, possibly the fastest LMG in Modern Warfare 2. This gun, having such a small stature and length, plays damn near like an assault rifle. You can build this thing super speedy. So, today, I decided I wanted to build it into a speedy damage build so let's just get right into that so you already know the drill before i get into the icarus or i'm gonna go over the rest of our secondary i'm leveling the p890 for tactical flash grenade lethal sumtex perks are double time bomb squad fast hands and quick fix and ammunition box and trophy system for field upgrades so starting from the left going up to the top to the right bottom I'm going to be starting with the Echolus 80. As you know, the Echolus 80 is a suppressor and not appearing on the minimap. Bullet velocity, damage range, recoil smoothness. The cons to this are aim down sight speed and aiming stability. With the Icarus, since it's so small, it doesn't even really play like an LMG, it plays like an AR. I decided to go with the Echolus 80 for some extra damage. I'm kind of going to build it like I built the Sawkin, where I was speed and damage, and you kind of build the Icarus like the same thing essentially which is what I'm trying to go for here so bullet velocity damage range and recoil smoothness it nerfs our ADS speed a little bit and our aiming stability but we can get that back for the tuning I went all the way down to ADS speed and at the bottom I went all the way to bullet velocity this is essentially we're going to get our ADS speed back with the FTAC SB barrel and there's our damage range, fire accuracy, and bolt velocity, but we get all of that back with the Echolus 80 suppressor. But on the bright side, we do get ADS speed, which we lost with the suppressor, so we're not at a complete disadvantage, and it buffs our hip recoil control. I don't really care about that perk, I mainly just wanted the ADS speed, but pretty much running and gunning with this thing and you come across somebody and you're just barrel stuffing in, well, you got the kill. Congratulations. For the tuning on the barrel, I went all the way up to recoil steadiness, and at the bottom here, I went all the way to ADS speed. For the laser, I went with the FSS Oli V laser. I'm pretty much addicted to the lasers now, they just give such good buffs to your gun. With this laser, you get AD aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. The debuff is when you ADS, you people can see your laser, but that's not really much of a big deal. It's kind of barely visible in some cases. For Season 2, I f keep forgetting that they added that you could tune lasers. I don't know why they did this. Lasers are kind of just OP on their own. But on the left here, I'm going to go all the way down to Sprint to Fire. At the bottom here, I'm going to go all the way to ADS. For the stock, I decided to go with the Ravage 8. This gives Crouch Movement Speed, Sprint Speed, and ADS Speed. Kind of nerfs our recoil control a little bit, but this thing is super accurate regardless of losing recoil control. We kind of don't care about the Crouch Movement Speed. What we mostly care about is the Sprint Speed and the ADS Speed. Or ADS speed and sprint speed you're moving faster kind of run and gun build here for the tuning on the Ravage 8 I went all the way down to aim down sight speed at the bottom here I went all the way to the left for aim walking speed for the grip we're gonna be borrowing from the Sawkin and putting the Sawkin grip on 
the Icarus here. Zalkin ZX Grip. This gives recoil control. So the recoil control we lost, the stock up here is coming back to us. It's a little bit of a nerf to our aiming stability, but that's okay. This gun is super accurate as it is. Tuning, I went all the way down to ADS speed. And at the bottom, I went all the way left to sprint to fire speed. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's the build that I decided to go with for the 5.56 Icarus. This gun is super cool. It's the, I think it's probably the most, the fastest LMG in the game. What I tend to use on it. I mean, it, it is still an LMG. So if you use just pure damage perks or pure damage attachments to my bed, then it's probably going to be super slow. But sacrificing some damage for some speed makes the LMGs super fun. Play a little more careful. Or it doesn't even really matter, dude. You'll slay regardless. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Take a screenshot of this if you want to use it. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you didn't like it. And I'll talk to you guys in another video. Peace. Oh, damn, I didn't know you could get up there. I thought that was a fucking street light. That's a sniper. You should just, said, you should just take Hot Route's name. No, because I'm actually good at the game. <laughs> I don't have to make my name something super cringe to prove I'm good at the game. Yeah, just turn around and pre-aim it. Why am I spawning on their side? What the fuck? It'd be like, uh, no, my god, money, buddy, shoot. Cush money, <laughs> shoot back, bro. Nah. That's you, you did not have a name tag. <laughs> Lit me up.